Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. If this is your first time here, I just want to say hi and welcome you in. My name is Leah and on my channel, I like to share lots of homemaking type content. So lots of DIY projects, uh, decorating ideas, cleaning motivation. I also like to kind of sneak in little sneak peeks of farm life occasionally as we do live on a working farm. And then I also share a little bit about our renovation journey as we are fixing up this old farmhouse of ours. But if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing more of. I hope you will stick around, hit that subscribe button, and we'll get started with the Christmas decorating. Today's video is a collaboration with Stephanie from the channel Consider It All Joy. Stephanie is a new friend of mine here on YouTube, and she's actually going to be decorating her porch today for Christmas, um, but you guys are going to love her channel. She shares so many fun decorating ideas. Her style is similar to mine in that she likes cottage style decor as well, and I just know you're going to love her. She has the best personality, so when you hop over to her channel, be sure to let her know that I sent you. Today we're going to be decorating our kitchen for Christmas and before we get started I want to make sure I'm beginning with a fresh blank slate. So I removed everything from the counters, gave everything a good wipe down before we start adding in all of the Christmas. Keeping things nice and simple but still warm and cozy in this space as well just like the rest of the house for Christmas this year. I added back in my cookbook on this wood stand from Hobby Lobby and also a small little wooden tray. I can't remember where that's from um, but I added in one of the white ceramic houses from Target. I got that one last year but I'm pretty sure they have a version of them this year too. I sprinkled a couple of pine cones around the bottom and then added in my vintage crock with a small cedar tree. For the area by our coffee pot, I decided to pretty much keep it like it usually is, um, but I did add the small riser and a small crock on top of the riser um, to add another small little cedar tree. Um, I did put it up on the riser just so there's some height variation from the one kind of close by, and I think that makes a big difference when you're decorating a space is just making sure there's lots of variation in height. Uh, it definitely makes a big difference in kind of how the eye takes everything in, um, but this is just a very simple look. but some Thing I love and it won't interfere too much just with daily kitchen use. For the shelf above our sink area, I just switched out the print for one that's a little more winter specific, but when I went to print it out, I didn't have enough color cartridge left in my printer, so I had to print it in black and white. I did order one, so hopefully by this coming week when I share a home tour, I'll have a color print here. Um, I think that will definitely go a long way to add some much needed color to this area. But other than that, I just filled the peg hooks with simple things like clippings from our Christmas tree, this little white pitcher that stays there all the time. I use that for watering house plants throughout the week. And then these vintage candlesticks from an estate sale are a nice added touch. I did add in a basket just for some added texture. And I think, like I said, once I get that color print there, um, that will complete the look. For the area beside the stove, I'm just adding a simple basket, some white salt and pepper shakers, and then my white ceramic cow creamer that I've had for a long time and I bring it out just different times throughout the year. But for Christmas, I decided to add a few Christmas tree clippings to the creamer. And then I feel like it needs something else, but I'm just not sure what exactly. So if you all have an idea of what I can add to this basket to kind of finish the look, let me know. 
I always have a basket of apples sitting out on our counter. We go through a lot of apples around here and I didn't really want to put that away just to put something decorative here for Christmas. So instead I decided to just add a satin ribbon to the basket itself just to make it feel a little more like Christmas. Um, and then it also kind of ties it in with the swag I have over the stove. So a good tip for decorating for Christmas um, and just using things you already have, just add a ribbon to it and instantly it feels like you've decorated for Christmas. Keeping our island top very simple because we do use this space quite a bit. I'm um, just using this wood bowl and filled it with a bag that I found at Hobby Lobby. I believe it was last year, but it was filled with just pine cones, a few wood slices, apple slices, a few pieces of cotton, and a couple of cinnamon sticks. But I feel like that's all the space needed, especially since we do use it so much. The bowl is easy to move if we need to. I really enjoy decorating these shelves seasonally, but there are a few staple items that stay on it all the time. So my diffuser is one of those things and our calendar is one of those things. The kids love changing that out each day. Sometimes we forget, but it's still fun to have. Um, but to make it feel a little more like Christmas, I added this riser with a couple of Santa mugs filled with a few faux cedar trees. I believe those are from the dollar spot at Target last year. The trees and the mugs were a Walmart find. For the top, I kept our calendar, just added in a cookbook and a basket full of greenery, just clippings from the yard and some of our dried eucalyptus from summer. I still need to finish this side of the kitchen. I need to add some greenery somewhere, maybe a wreath, I'm not sure, but uh, check back next week for the home tour and I should have that area finished by then as well. I had a little bit of the garland left over from our staircase, so I decided to use some of it for a centerpiece for our dining table. And I added in some brass candle holders that I had found recently at an estate sale. You may have seen those if you watched my thrift haul, but I decided to keep it warmer here and not really go with the white candles, but instead opt for different shades of green. So the darker ones are actually from an estate sale, they're vintage, and then the lighter two colors are from the hearth and hand line at target more fresh garland around the mirror here just for a nice added touch last year i took down the mirror and had added just a wreath but i really missed having that reflection that a mirror adds to a space so i decided to keep it for this year and do a garland instead and then for our little basket of cloth napkins that pretty much stays out year round, I just added a nice little pine cone on top. You all may remember a few days back, maybe one day last week, I shared a picture to my feed here on YouTube of a tree that I really wanted to put on our front porch, but I ended up getting outvoted by the family. They decided they wanted it in the kitchen, but I have to say it is pretty cozy to have a Christmas tree in the kitchen. So I decided to go with it and just pretty much decorate it with things that we already had. I had a couple of beaded garlands left over that I didn't use for our living room Christmas tree. So I added that and I did add a new set of ornaments from Hobby Lobby just to kind of add a little bit of a gold touch to the tree. But other than that, it's all stuff we already had blue and green ornaments that we had used last year um, decided to bring those back out for this one I think it kind of ties in nicely with the rug I didn't really have a topper for the tree so I just opted for a couple of white feathers instead
thank you all so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back this coming week. I plan on posting a full Christmas home tour and I'm getting really excited about it. I have a lot of things I need to finish up before I do that. So come back because I'll definitely be tweaking things along the way um, from what I've shared already. Um, but also be sure you stop by Stephanie's channel and say hi. I know you guys are going to really enjoy her channel. She is so much fun, um, but I will leave links to her channel and also her porch decorating video in my description box below. And I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.